Welcome to the Fear of Minds podcast. I'm your host, Jeremy Gomez. With me, as always, is my hetero life mate, Aaron, the Captain Nova. Something like that, reverse it, flip it, put it back together. In the background is Chef Candy Gomez. She is cooking up 500 chicken nuggets for us to tear out today in the Great Nugget Caper, which is the name of the show. And joining us on the show is the man, the legend, one day in pro wrestling, Rafael Delgado, AKA Jason Abreu. This is the Feed Our Minds podcast, and we'll be back. Con un botella de brugal y mi nudios. I am Rafael Delgado. Music production by Que lo que. I'm done with apologies. I am the champion. It's best that you follow me. Ring the ring, ain't nobody. Actual show. This is the Feed Our Minds podcast, and Nova's gonna start us off hot. Yeah. I never we're starting the show after we did the clicky thing. We're back. This is Feed Our Minds. Mr. Nova has started off us off this. I don't know, you just. You just started us off so hot that I can't talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is weird because I love talking, as most people know. Really? I haven't noticed. I love it. You've noticed. Yeah, I love I it. Know, man. I'm just going to listen uh, to you up when you're on the show, man. Have a good time, right? We're not here for a long time. We're right? probably like three hours on this episode. Right? With us today is our, uh, is our buddy, Jason Bray. And uh, he is known in the pro wrestling world as Rafael Delgado. He even sings his own theme song. Did you know that, Aaron? So you're a man of many talents. Yes, yes, I am. Do you sing so, your own theme song? Yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah. Are you in your own theme song, seriously? I'm, I'm in my theme song. I'm in my theme song. He's in his theme song. You don't do your own theme song? Yeah. I just, I quit the business so we can't play my theme song. That was this morning. So, Jason, you're a man of many talents. Yeah. List them off. What, what do you do? What, you, I know you do a lot of things. What, what are your favorites? Wrestling, acting, and... Yeah. This is your favorite thing? Amateur wrestling. Like amateur wrestling? Yeah. What's amateur wrestling? Basically just throwing him around. Like Greco Roman amateur wrestling? Nova wrestling. So like when he's not paying Nova attention. Nova wrestles? I just no, I just take him to the guys. I quit the business. <laughs> Before we hit record on this. You can't, you're one of my champions in my company. This is gonna hit you in the head eventually. Uh, so uh I'm gonna do that arm thing you do right there. I'm like, I don't think I've ever done that before. It feels nice, doesn't it? It's like a. Uh, feels like a horseman ripoff, if you ask me. Are you a horseman ripoff? Are you in the four horsemen? I could be. Inquiring minds want to know, Nova. He's one of the horsemen. Could be. Were you like. You were gonna replace Bear AF? Yeah. No, we're not, gonna we're not gonna get into that version of horseman, are we? So you do things. Other than yeah. wrestling. Besides wrestling. Oh, yes, what yes. are those things? Tell what us. What are those things? I like to act. I sing a little bit, and uh, occasionally I'll write screenplays and. Told you, some kids in his own things like. So you do Super Mario in this movie? Was it you? Maybe. The original one. <laughs> yeah. Are we talking about John Leguizamo? Go ahead. Don't bring up. You know Jason that, wrote. You know better to bring up Leguizamo around me, guys, yes. because that's instant like. Uh, so now I'm gonna do Leguizamo the whole rest of the show like this. Stay, stay, stay like that. Stay like that. Just like that. No candy will kill me. Brother. She looks, she's already shaking her head. She's like, no. You act. Have you been in film shows, plays? Give me, give me examples. I feel like, I feel like Nova did research for this episode, which is good. Cheers. I didn't do it. Apple juice up. Apple juice up. Apple juice. Apple juice. Cheers to the apple juice. Cheers to the apple juice. I didn't do any research. I didn't mean to cut him off. I just paid attention to everybody when they speak. So, I was in two local films. Uh, I was also a part of an action movie challenge and uh, a comedy action movie that I did is called Time Sheriff and it's still on YouTube. Okay. Time Sheriff? Let's talk about that. What's, what's Time Sheriff about? You ever seen Time Cop? No. What's, what's that about? <laughs> so it's like that, but worse. What's Time Cop about? A cop that deals with time. Who's that? Help me out. Jean Claude Van Damme. Was that like Rob Van Damme's cousin? I think we so. were brothers at one point. I'm not, seriously, I have no idea who that is. Yeah. So, old 80s action star. Is he related to the guy that was in Kickboxer? Stop, I, I can't stop it. Stop it. Is he related <laughs> to the guy in Kickboxer? Yes. Mm-hmm. Has he ever been in, say, uh, Kumite? Yeah. Does he know the Dim Monk? 
He was also he was also a street fighter. He was also a cyborg. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, he played Guile. Stop, stop. Hey, we, I love we should that cut. Movie. This should be the end yeah. of the podcast when they brought up street. We brought up check this. Hold on, let's, let's talk we about brought the up beat. cyborg, street let's, fighter, and Mario Brothers. The These are the worst. Let's talk about the beef that he had with the legend, you know, Jason David Frank. May he rest in peace. Wait, Van Damme had beef with? Yeah. What? Oh um, yeah. yeah. Since when? The Power Ranger guy? Yeah. Green? Yeah. Okay, I, don't, I never watched Power Ranger. Hell Power Ranger. Yeah. So and that's why I said the the guy. The one. The guy. Uh, basically, uh, somebody asked uh, Jason David Frank if he could beat John Claude Van Damme in a fight. He didn't say cocky or anything. He said, "Yeah, I think yeah, I could well, because of course. you know I train every day. He's an actor, so I don't know how well he trains, but gymnast. Yeah. And then uh, the first time, like years later, the first time they saw each other, they saw each other at a convention. Jean Claude got in Jace, uh, JDF's face, what? and it, you can find it on YouTube. And uh, JDF is like back. Jean Claude selling to the end, bro. JDF, JDF is like pushing him away and everything like that, and it got to the point to where he actually grabbed Jean Claude like in between his security. I feel like I've and seen then this now. Push himself this, off. I feel like this is coming. Like I've seen this before. Yeah. That time. Something that was before TMZ or maybe like yeah. Talk Soup or something like that. Talk soup. Six Talk years. Now we brought up Talk Soup like six years ago. Yeah. Alright, maybe it was TMZ. Probably was TMZ or something. Oh, a few what times. Is this? Oh, no, it was like that. Are you on your yeah. cell phone again? Or... No, no, no. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, it's a podcast. Back. You can do whatever you want. Oh, they were getting. Oh! <laughs> so, if, yeah. while he's looking up stuff, don't forget that today we're eating 500 chicken nuggets between three people. No, it says he's doing 10. He's doing 140 more than that. If you're least. counting at home, 10 is where. But, but hey, if I get hey, over what? 10, I'm going to hunch over the table. While your phone's out, look up, like, what's a bad enough? Look up if there's a bad number of chicken nuggets that we shouldn't be passing. Yeah, look what's up the max number of nuggets a human should consume? Should consume in one city. Let's see. To the Google! The We're done. Tuck or whatever you feel. Ask like Jeeves if that's the Ask Jeeves is still out okay. there. I think it finally was. He's just ass. I don't believe Lycos is a thing either. And remember they did change it to Jeeves after yeah. they dropped it? Yeah. Yeah. Is Prodigy still around? Not the band. No, what's the level of chicken nuggets? Maximum number of chicken nuggets. Um... Are these free range chicken nuggets candy? Tyson. Tyson. So, so basically they're free range, but they're really not. Or, oh, I'm sorry, Tyson. So the record. So go by here. That chicken in the back there actually has one. So, we're not going to eat them with them. Make us eggs and stuff. But yeah, we haven't collected the eggs today because I'm kind of busy sometimes. And I just don't want to do things. Not like Jake Payne would be. I brought up a gimmick. I brought up a gimmick. Poopy. That's my wrestling son. So, Local Man eats 412 chicken nuggets. We're not doing that. Yeah. And isn't paralyzed. Well, good for him, man. That's just slightly less of those two boxes. Yeah. How many chicken nuggets can you eat a day? Oh. I'm not, I, not getting I don't know that there's a stop point here. No, okay, cool. just put the phone down like screen first. Well, we're going to have to find out. Now. So, on, on top of the nuggets, we have like, how many sauces do you think we have over there? Good time, good time. <laughs> verbalize, verbalize, Chef Candy. 35, 40. Like 35 or 40 sauces. You want to start bringing them over to the table and we'll start like, we don't know what's what. This looks like stubs and some sort of... This is Carolina Gold. Carolina Gold. Carolina Kinders. Gold. Start from that side. Um, this was the Kinders. Kinders! I did a good thing this time. I set the camera up so it's like touching don't the Don't hinder the Kinders. Don't hinder the Kinders. So I bet every time we touch the table, it's probably shaking the camera, which is lovely. Carolina Sweet. That's yeah, that table. Carolina Sweet. Carolina Sweet. Mm-hmm. I think she puts any near me, her husband. We're gonna love for reasons for living. Do you think she puts any near me? The Flavor Town, my guy Gaddy, and Gee? and then John ha- Johnny Harris uh, barbecue sauce. Johnny yeah, Harris and Gay Fear. Johnny Harris and and the only guy who was stupider hair than me, Gay Fear. All right, I like you, Gee. Good job, Gee. I've seen you do things, Gee. I've seen you do things. No, but you've seen Gee, right? Mr. Fieri? So there's Guy Fieri. Stubbs. You really don't know who Guy Fieri is. Stubbs. Stubbs. Sweet Baby Ray. Sweet Stubbs. Baby Ray. Uh, Nova had never had Stubbs. Jason, that was your nickname in high school, wasn't it? Sweet Baby Ray? Yeah, yours is Stubbs. No, no. Well, actually, yeah, that sounds better than my actual name. 
Bill's about to smoke it. Like, you know, oh. like, oh. oh. like is that a manta ray tag? Chili garlic sauce. Mm. Actually, poison. I actually have a manta ray tag. Is it poison? Poison. Poison. Oh. Yeah. 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 I like poison. 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 Sing the song. Give me a poison. Poison. Give me a poison. Yellow sriracha and I'm red sriracha. Thank you, babe. Oh, Lovely. Cool, that's a bad name. Don't need nothing, but a good time. I'm not even going to tell him what's wrong with that. Or, no, that's the out. Suki sauce. When he sees the edited show, he'll figure oh, out what Suki, mistake Suki. he just made. Mm, that's the Suki Suki? Yeah. So this is some Suki Suki. Suki sauce. Thai sauce. Suki Thai sauce? Do we actually have room for chicken nuggets? You're going to put them over there and just start. Well, you're going to have to move that sauce right away, and then I'll put them over there. Well, damn! Yeesh. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I accidentally drink this. What are you? We just go. We just don't get into it now. So we just gonna get into it. Let's go. Let our guests get grab the it. first nugget. Black truffle and garlic aioli. Oh, there we go. And look, listen. It is an easy cooking 500 nuggets in a in a normal size oven. So give the chef the best. We did the best we can. They don't all look gorgeous. <laughs> just try them all. Which one was the size? Are we really? Yeah. Uh, the, the, the red one by him. The subs. Oh. Uh, here's honey mustard that you like. And there's ketchup. Chick-fil-A sauce. We're gonna be like slap mouth. Put that over there. In our face over here in the mic, so. Mm -hmm. Just add a few words, so smacks. Yeah, we got, you know, we're probably gonna need to talk during this stuff, even though we're just munching down. Yum yum sauce. So, why don't we, uh, I'm just gonna let you lead the whole thing this time. Go! So you act. Nice. Yes, Thank you. you sing. So like what kind of music you're into that you sing? Blue cheese, ranch. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. A little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, I love to do karaoke. And one of my go-to songs that throws people off is uh, Make Me Wanna by Thomas Rhett. Not through Jeremy, I'll do that. <laughs> you like karaoke? Duke's Southern Sauce and Sweet Baby Ray's uh, Buffalo no, and Sauce. No, 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 I, Thank you, babe. You just I, got back from Japan, though. Did you carry over? Yeah, we did. Carry over. Did you? Yeah. Was there? Carry is like really big. Copious amounts of. Just go around that. That's totally the same way. What's your go-to karaoke song, you know? I absolutely cannot stand karaoke. Why not? Sorry. Because I was in music and I was a singer and like, <laughs> I don't know. But I'm also no fun. But uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. To me, it's like, all right, when you're in a band, like. A lot of arguments from band life come from trying to pick a damn cover song, all right? Like, so, and okay. so like, to me, the idea of I don't, I do like singing other people's music and stuff like that, but doing it in front of people, I've always rather just, I, I don't know, I, I've always rather just the people that sung that song, yeah, to sing their song. Because like, okay, like, like for instance, if I sung like an Elton John song or something like that, mm -hmm. no matter how good I am, I wouldn't be as good as the actual song. So mm -hmm. my idea, that's kind of like me fucking it up. You know what I mean? Oh or, you just, you know, it's a pretty tall order of singer, I'm just joking. You know, or like, or anything like that. If I was singing like a, like a Skid Row song, like, or trying to do a Sebastian Bach song, because a singer of Skid Row, I would, even if I could do it good, it wouldn't be that good. So in my mind, it's like, I don't know, giving the, I don't know, I'm old school, I just, I want that singer to have the prop. You know what I mean? And we're kind of, I feel like we're kind of in a time now where a lot of people leech off everybody else's stuff. You know? Mm -hmm. But again, it's karaoke, it's just having fun. I just don't know. I don't know. But then so, again, the girls have a karaoke machine, so they like it. like private karaoke, or are we doing like karaoke in front of, like on stage? On, on stage? See, okay. I would like, like if I went to Japan, I was in one of those little karaoke rooms with people yeah. who were drinking. Yeah. I would probably be cool with that. But on stage, to me, it's like singing a cover song. It's like. So when I went to Japan, it was a bar, like, in a basement, nice. and a really tiny spot. It was a bar here, and then it was like an opening with like a few chairs, a table, like two tables, and then the TV screen that we had to carry over there. We were the only ones in there, so. Okay, see that be? Yeah. But no, um, that doesn't mean other people can enjoy Whenever it. I hope they do. Whenever I go to Universal Studios, I stay there the whole day until like the karaoke bar opens, and then I have a couple of drinks. I get them on stage, do a song or two, and I'll call it a night. I feel like Tony Bourdain when it comes to karaoke, though. Like, mm -hmm. like, so, so I'm karaoke. Like, have you sung like 
I made your own music or anything like that? Well, yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. We I'm already got into that. Tell us about it. It's in his, he sings his own intro song when he walks in the ring. What is your interest thing? So, my interest thing. That dog. That's it, it was at one point. <laughs> so the name of my theme song is called Delgado Symphony. And uh, it was written by a good friend of mine that grew up with my younger brother. Uh, his name is Slizo. He's his rap name. And I hit him up one day saying, hey, I want to make my own music. I want something different. Would you be willing to write the song for me? And he immediately jumped at the chance. He goes, okay, but you got to give me some things that you do in the ring. So like what moves and all that stuff. And told him a few. I mean, a week later, he came up with the lyrics and everything. And I was like, this is perfect. And, and you sang it like you sang the song itself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually, I, I just don't pay attention. I can't believe it. You're all up in that, this thing. I'm thinking about the You're songs. all up in this rhino horn, whatever you guys do, the bears and rhinos and <sighs> shit. And like, you're not even paying it. <laughs> it's good! You never heard a song, really? No, I, I think I, I, I heard it play, but I don't I didn't remember hearing you sing on it. Or I didn't know if it was you that was singing on it. I said something. Are you hating on him? Mm. Yeah, I know him. You think because, because the captain doesn't sing, he can't do it? I can't sing a lot. I am the worst. I have no vocals. I think with you that would be excellent though. If you did your own theme song and couldn't sing it at all, I think that would just make it even better. Just heavily auto tuned. I can't believe it. <laughs> you like the Shatner doing the uh, like a like a um oh when Shatner did the Elton John song, but he's just like talking over it. <laughs> I could do something like that. That'd be amazing. I don't remember any sauces. Do you remember any sauces? I remember everything. I just can't reach any like you guys. You guys are up. I'm on like I got five. You guys have like one you want. Well. No one. That's a fuck. That was an old known promo, huh? World's largest food truck promo. You remember that one? All of it. <laughs> no, we're, okay, look, I actually, I, I am actually employing the fork now because then I can. Yeah, you can reach. I can reach. Oh, y'all. I got like dinosaur. Yo, straighten me up, y'all. I got some yum yum sauce now. Oh, yum yum sauce. I need the Chick fil A sauce. Oh, wait, this is <laughs> yum yum right here? No, that's, I think, the Chick fil A sauce. Oh. This is that Duke stuff. Listen. The Duke stuff has it? Let me see that. Candy, bring me that Duke's container. Please, baby. So, where did I meet you actually? Were you uh, were you an August signing? Were you an August Artois introduction? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, it was this song. Dukes, you think I made him sign you make amazing mayonnaise, but just uh, this way. Do you like this? Taste that. Oh, I, I, I've had it. This, this one? Yes. The Dukes? Yes. Are you serious right now? You like the Duke? Yes. Really? I had it earlier with the nugget. Is this the same one? Can you like this? No, that's not it. That's not it. All right, you're dead. Um, dead. Hold on. Put this one. Good. Put this sauce over there with a way for us. I think, I think that's... That wasn't it. That no. wasn't it. That's the, that's that's the, right there. This, ah. That's right, that's right. Sorry, dude, you're not getting any love. So, uh. I'm loving the subs. The subs are like the subs. Okay. So far, it's my favorite. Who'd you work at the first show with us? Jake Payne. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's right. What the hell, man? Why did I tag my son? <laughs> oh, he's a good guy, though. Oh, well, and you're an evil. Challenge. And you're an evil bastard when you're a wrestler, right? Yeah, 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 but that's also what my mom calls me, so. What's your level of evil in wrestling? Oh, the rest not looking, I'll kick you straight in the dick. What's your like? What level like is that? It was a good comparison. A good ding dong kicker? Yeah, he's a good, he's a good bad guy. Yeah, we know. Is he like Mr. Gomez heel? Like, death to the world is even in your face? Or? Wow, so hold on, so. That's right. So you were, you came on during the whole. You okay, buddy? You came on during the whole my my face on the flyer mm -hmm. thing, right? Didn't you send me a message and I was like no selling, like pretending it was real? I remember messaging you and I was laughing so hard at everything because I didn't I didn't know you, but I was like, this is great. This is just great. <laughs> 
So before that, you never heard of me before at all in wrestling, right? No, nope, he's told me about you. Oh, Christ Almighty, all really? Yeah. All the bad things. Okay. <laughs> so he's told me about you. Okay. Well, I was hoping you. I was hoping you had heard something really, really, really shitty. And then yeah, he did. He, said, he didn't say he didn't hear anything. Are we talking like, yeah, Nova talked about me? It was like other people that you guys know talk. When we were still all heated and never heard right, right, anybody. Right. So Nova's was Nova and uh, a channel that I follow on YouTube. Uh, I believe, yeah, there's a video of you about how the heavyweight title was stolen out of your car. Is that Hammerstone? It was Hammerstone's video, wasn't it? Wasn't stolen out of our car. It was stolen out of our car in Indiana. Don't stop. Watch out now. Watch out now. And we're back from our break that was provided to us from GoPro, the camera that always overheats mid take but then after that we did another lovely take and i forgot to hit the sound so here we are again totally not asking the same questions that we just asked and definitely not trying to get exactly the same nova out of the blue maybe you should ask about say so you, if you were in a pool of sauce that was what, exact... what sauce would it be and would it be mcdonald's barbecue sauce the source of your first mcnugget yes Boom, you see how I just tied in the shot that nobody will ever see to that if one? If you were in a pool, if you can jump into any one of these sauces right now, where, where, where are you picking, pal? Black truck and tinder. I haven't tried it yet. You haven't, I haven't got it this way yet. I'm, I'm on the edge. Oh, that was that one. Okay. It's hot sauce too, right? That's so I probably don't want to... Super dip. Super dip. There's still plenty more. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm over at the end. You can just... Oh, okay. Oh, so you don't want to... Yeah. <laughs> this is good. I think I hit my 10 rounds. Right. right. You're eating more than 10. Because... So you are keeping count. Just yes. Keep because all the times that we're having to actually reshoot and reshoot and redo this because I keep messing up, look, we're going to end up having to eat more than 10. <laughs> probably like 20, 30 for the same stuff. Probably at like 30. I wasn't, I wasn't counting. I was probably at like 30. I actually have a clicker. In the office, not oh, with us. I was like, so. your butt cheeks. I, was, I, I actually was thinking of buying two more clickers so we could all keep track of how many. Yeah. But you so know what? if you can drink a sauce, which one is it going to be? The yum yum sauce. The yum yum sauce. I like You're drinking. a little too quick on the draw here, pal. I'm a fat kid at heart. So, I mean, I mean that. so okay. where, did, where was it again? I know I said way too, but we did ask before we messed up the tape. Um, where, was, where, where was the place that introduced you to the. Is that the one that's in a, like you see on the TV all the time, it's on like the side of the road on like, you know, part of like, you know what I mean? And you go on, it's like two story. The iconic fucking McDonald's in, oh, I guess that's in Manhattan. That's in Manhattan. Okay, sorry if you're a Floridian, the only New York you know is Manhattan or New Jersey. No. Manhattan, Brooklyn, the Bronx, Queens. And these are? Burroughs. Burroughs. Yeah. Not like Hillsborough that you're in now. No. Hillsborough. Different boroughs. What part Explain of... boroughs to somebody that is not from New York. What Bill, Hill is that like a neighborhood? Is it basically a neighborhood? It's a, like a is the Bronx or... one of the hills boroughs? You're allowed to punch them. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Was the Bronx? Is the Bronx in Hillsborough? Is that why? Whoa! I mean, he does live in Hillsborough. Is that why so many New Yorkers moved to Hillsborough? I'm actually a chicken nugget, guys. You never thought about that before, right? Now you're like in the skies. That is amazing. You ever thought about that before? Is that why so many New Yorkers moved to Hillsborough because it's a borough? Yes! Yes! Boom. That was my plan all along, Jason. I mean, I call it town and country Little Santo Domingo. Uh, what is it? Well, oh, here's some. How do you uh, give people directions in town and country? Where you make a trek? Well, first, uh, Hold on. you want to make a trek, and then you want gotta make a tua, and then a ping pong. No, like really though, if you're giving somebody directions how to get some place in town and country. Get you should map. know this. Everybody knows this. Stop. Stop. Hold on. You're going to know this too. Because somebody has told you this before too. It was Jeremy. Really? Jeremy told me. You, you don't give directions in regards to where the Twisty Treat is? No. Really? No. Man, that must have been my generation thing. If you were going to town and country, like every direction you will ever get is 
Go to Twisty Treat. Take a right. Two yards. Boom. Go to the Twisty Treat. Go that way. Boom. Go to the Twisty Treat. Yeah, that twist, that sounds like twisty Treat. Oh. You've never heard that before? No, but that's definitely a generation. Your generation was the first generation uh, ever, right? The second. Oh. Second. Two out of 150? The second. You ever been maced with stubs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking the stubs. I would definitely jump in the stubs if I can get into a full of sauce. It's also a generational thing. You can have it. Thing. Which sauce are you jumping into, Jeremy? I'm just raw dog and mad, brother. I'm just I'm saying, like, if you can just shrink right down, jump into a, one of these sauces. Stubs. If definitely you were stubs. a chicken nugget, Delgado, yeah. what do you want to be dipped in? Candy. Um, what kind of sauce would you want me dipped in? What's your favorite? Syrup. Nice. That's why I'm married. My wife's awesome. She wants to dip me in syrup, which is awesome because I have like two more days before the diet. So, Candy, we'll get we're gonna get that done later, babe. Do we have enough syrup? You know the secret to getting like really free, like good free food is go on a diet. I swear you didn't say the secret to getting really freaky. Uh, well, hold on now. <laughs> monetize, monetize. We can say it as long as we don't talk about what freaky is. What is freaky? You know, Delgado. What is free? Because it's totally different to be at so, 45 years old. I can say, but... No, you're not allowed to say, actually. Okay, you know what that is before we're going to Also, I'm pretty sure I would lose my best friend. Do you rap? When oh, goes? you... I know the answer to that. Yeah. You jerk. Alright. Yeah. yeah. Fill me in. Iggy, go. <clears throat> First explain Iggy to people. What does that mean? Seriously, what is it? You can break this wall. It's been done. It's 2024. AEW exists. They've broken every wall. What's an Iggy? You know what? Hey, hey, hey. I'm about to give you a fake Iggy until you give us the real Iggy. And then I'm going to tell you about the Iggy on the Iggy. Jeremy, here's the Iggy. That's crazy. I don't know, bro. Is that a generation? I can't. It's weird because I can't move like this for you. This is what this podcast has been reduced to. I'm glad you could come on today for this. Amazing. 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 We're having chicken nuggets, guys. Amazing. And we may or may not even be recording it. Who knows? And Who knows? So you know, I'm pretty much the king of chicken nuggets. Really? Because you've had, like, we've been... Like, I can't eat all of my food. Apparently, we know how to eat. Well, I know Jason knows how to eat. No, really. Yeah, that's how I got the beard. <laughs> really, though, this is my last um, eat everything I can weekend. I'm legitimately starting my kill myself Listen, diet. You, you enjoy those nuggets, he might even remember me when I was thin. You what never. Was that I was thin when I was thin. Oh, I can eat. I'm just not gonna eat and not work out and not do cardio like I used to all the time. I think when you met me, I was still the guy that was standing up all the time with the electric app thing on, even when I wasn't working out. They work, but you actually have to have abs or like muscles for the people. If you want the little electric things you strap on you to give you muscles. If there's too much fat, and I know this, for the sensors to touch a muscle, it is not gonna work. Please work out first, then put the thing on your chest. Man, I was about to wrap myself like a mummy in that. I don't, I don't think that'll work. No, it works though. When that thing gets going, it's like, it, it hurts after a while, man. I think it'll put you down. I think, I think you'd end up looking like Zoe Bird when you got out of the show and jiggling everywhere. No, man, I'd be scared, man. I'd look probably like Jane Clark. You worked out with me once over here, didn't you? One time? Why did you come back? Was it, did you hurt? Did I hurt you? Oh no, it's you. It's not me. Probably. Did I, <laughs> but did I hurt you? I don't remember. I, I, that was when I just like, I just got like my arm was broken Both. just after that. So I was like, I was just getting motion back. The, the, the dips killed you, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm one of those people that enjoy dips. Do you yeah. enjoy dips? Yes, it's really. Which kind? Which yeah, kind? Yeah, yeah. Man, that was come on now. <laughs> Stolen segue. Jeremy come on Gomez now. It's fast. And old. And old. Uh, so you guys are never gonna eat four hundred fifty squishing I wanted to be known. Don't have me cooking all these nuggets over here, y'all. No. That was him. I was like cool with fifty between the three of us because I was only gonna eat ten. It's so, oh my god. Oh my god, you know. Uh, uh, you might want to continue on. So, yeah, you, 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 you do that. Damn. You're a theater, you're a theater guy. Yeah. So tell, tell me about, like, what's your process before getting, like, 
preparing for a game or something like that. Do you have any methods or techniques or anything? You were in theater at school and stuff? No. No? After? Uh, yeah. Nice. Before wrestling or after? Before. Okay. Continue. I just wanted to know. I want to know. So what, like, you had any, like, techniques, Nova's like, thinking. leading up to a play or anything like that? Yeah, you mean to an audition or, like, yeah. right before a show starts? So let's start with auditions. Okay. What's your process for an audition? So, first thing you have to do, obviously, is, you know, take some deep breaths and realize, you know, it's, it's happening because a lot of people will go in there, they're pumped and everything, and then as soon as the time is coming, they're like, oh, I don't think I'm ready. I don't think I'm ready. I think I, I should leave right now. It's like, nope, you're there. Just you know, stick with it. Um, once they give you whatever scene that they want you to do so that, you know, they can evaluate you and everything, just read over it, realize exactly what type of emotion the character's trying to give and whatnot, and give it to the best of your ability. What I would do is I would uh, like picture it out in my head. If I've never even seen the play, I'll try to I'll try my best to picture it out and think of how that character would react body language wise, facial expression, and just how they would carry themselves when they speak. And uh, that's that's actually got me, you know, quite a few roles before I transition to wrestling. What do you think like what are some things like they're watching for? in these auditions the way you deliver the lines uh believability of you know because you only get a short amount of time so it's like you stand up my name is jason I'm a, you know i'm applying for the role of i'm auditioning for the role of blah blah, blah. And they already have an idea of who the character is and how they want to portray it. so you get up you know obviously say your stuff and everything and then give it your best if they feel like what they see you perform is what they picture, then they got it. Have you had, like... So when you don't get a part, yeah. is that, like, vocal? Is it one of those things, like, you don't find out until the show starts? So, for a community theater, what they do is, uh, they get a group of people to audition, and then they'll pick who they want, and like say there's 25 people. They'll go through everyone and then they'll narrow it down to maybe 10. Mm. Then they'll narrow it down again to at least five and then they choose who they want for the main roles, supporting roles and back, uh, you know, like, uh, what, background characters. What are some memorable roles you, you've done? That you can think of? I did a play called Streamers. Uh, it's about a group of soldiers that they just got done with boot camp and everything and uh, you know they they got into the dress <laughs> and I can't remember the character's name but I was basically the villain of the film. I first show up I gotta be this cocky you know city boy that gets on everyone's nerves and then you know like Nova. Nova's already looking at me I'm already staring up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, See, they then, start with me. It's not me. It's you guys. Yeah. And, uh, the second time I show up on stage, the character is absolutely shit face drunk. You know, just like. Definitely not it. Just, you know, opening up about their life and their struggles and everything. And then at the end of it, uh, my character basically loses his shit. Because. Again, yeah, Nova. Crazy. Nobody's listening to him and everything like that. And uh, he ends up killing like three of the soldiers until he ends up getting killed himself. No, no, I was, let's <laughs> stop comparing this to Nova. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> and uh, Today. after the first performance, everybody was so, uh, everybody came up to me and goes, how long have you been acting? This is my first year. It's like, well, you were amazing at first. We absolutely, like, you we were annoyed by you. And then we felt really bad for your character. And then as soon as the ending of the play came, we absolutely hated you. Like, oh, then I did my job. If I made you feel that way, then that's that's what matters to me. So community theater. I, I was one stumble upon community theater. Yeah, how'd you get there? You saw a flyer somewhere? Decided you wanted to be an actor? No, so... Trying to what? impress a girl? He was yes trying to impress a girl. Yes and no, but here's 100%. the 100%. So, the kiss scene. That's how, everybody, that's how so, every guy gets into acting, by the way. So, here's the thing. Uh... And then she quit the play that he was trying to impress her on. <laughs> so true, I did it? Mm -hmm. 
I did the Rocky Horror Picture Show for five years. I what was your character? I was Chocolate Rocky. Mm. And I was also Eddie, and my cast actually had an AP line whenever I would play Eddie. Mm. So as soon as the character would break out of the ice and everything, you would hear, whoa, Black Eddie, Bam Balam, Black Eddie, Black Eddie, Bam Balam. <laughs> So my love and Sam, y'all are y'all are now taking liberties with my generation's responses to popular Rocky Horror Picture Show lines. Yes. You're the type of asshole that goes to a castle looking for a phone, aren't you? Yes. Right. Continue. No, it was like I have no. I know castles don't have phones. He has princess phones. He has no effing clue what we're talking about right now. But go ahead. Have you seen Rocky Horror Picture Show? Yeah. Have you not? Like, yes, have you gone to see have it? You, have you seen it with a live, like with a live cast? No, oh my god! No. Yeah, so, so every time they say something, there's like an AP line, audience participation. Oh, like, man, like what he just audience said. Is mean, man. Cast, like so, what he just said. Cast on the words, In other words, like like in pro wrestling, you know, when LA Knight does that LA Knight, the crowd responds yeah, or something okay. like that, or when you know, like Enzo would spell soft. Thing. Yeah, it's whenever they say a certain name or anything. Asshole. Yeah. So whenever you hear the name Brad Majors, asshole. Whenever you hear the name Janet Weiss, slut. There you go. That sounds fun. I, okay. It's it's a lot of fun, and uh, I never I never I've it's, only it's seen crazy movies. how many people know these. I don't actually I've never seen them written down anywhere. The audience participation lines. I've never uh, seen them written down. It's like we just. Just it's basically it you. Yeah, you pick it up the more you go. Because honestly, you, you'll go on time and you'll be like, oh, it's stupid. Look, it's fun. Yeah. And then you go back another time, and eventually, it's just you know, like anything else, you hear it enough time. Do they still do that? Like, yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. I know you went to one a couple of days ago. Uh, yeah, with Lexi and Catalina. How was? Where was that at? Like, what's... that was uh, down, uh, out in downtown St. Pete. Okay. Had, had, had Catalina ever seen it live before? No. Uh, but I know Lexi is. Seen it. Yeah, we both performed uh, Rock and Roll. She did. So she's she an R. She was a part of a cast up in Orlando. Huh. And that's how, you know, we became. <laughs> Which we'll be replacing for the podcast too. Thanks, GoPro. We were mid talking and eating these 500 chicken wings, which we haven't even put a dent in yet. So, Ricky, while we were in the middle of asking about Rocky Horror Picture Show, and I believe the captain asked what? Yeah. So, like, how do you how do you stumble over those things? That is not what you asked at all. You are the best. Actually, it might have been. Hell with it. Roll with it. What's up? Do you even remember the question now that I interrupted him? Yeah, I sweet. So I was hanging out with a couple friends. This was maybe two years after I graduated high school. And we were watching Guardians of the Galaxy on repeat. And we didn't know what to do. I was like, let's go to a bar and drink. I was like, actually, let's go to the Rocky Horror Picture. You watched part two. Yeah, both. <laughs> uh, well, this was back then. Nice. Uh, so we, they were talking, they were hyping it up. I had never heard of it. And I was like, fuck it, whatever. You know, I'll give anything a shot. Sex, I fell in love with the show. Rock roll, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, Rocky Horror Picture Show. And uh, I fell in love with the show because of how crazy it is. So is that what like, kind of inspired you to take up uh, the acting? Yeah. Did it really? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, uh, I was working in a warehouse and I couldn't do any auditions at all because, you know, I work nights. And then when I was able to get a promotion and be a driver, my friends were like, well, now that you got nights, go to auditions, do this, do that. So I went to my nearest community theater, did some auditions, and I have a couple, you know, plays under my belt. So take me through kind of traits from acting that you imply during wrestling. Communicating with uh, my opponent because there are times where I'll be saying my lines or I'll do some sort of, you know, movement on stage and I'll look at who I'm in the scene with and they blank. And 
when you're on stage, you can never have your back to the crowd. Like, you can never have your back to the audience because that's your general person. And uh, I would just look at them for them to say their lines, and then they freak out and, like, just blank. And at that point, I improvise, and I will say their line to them to an extent. <laughs> and I would repeat it, and then immediately they would remember, oh, I gotta say this line, that's right. Um, stay in character. Mm. Stay in character on stage and, you know, in the ring. In the uh, back. And on the way home. And on top of that, uh, when the audience reacts to something, wrestling or acting-wise, let it sink in. Like, so if, you know, I'm, I'm beating the hell out of somebody and whatnot and the crowd is booing, I'm gonna give them that, that moment to boo me. Like, I'll look at them, I'll, I'll run my mouth and everything like that, but I'm giving them that moment to boo to make some noise. Where in theater, they, the crowd laughs, or they got, they, you know, they gasp. You got pause, give them that moment. Because uh, you want them to be able to enjoy it. I mean, if you talk over them while they're laughing, they're just, oh, oh, oh okay. And they just, they won't react anymore. So, so now my next question is going to be a little bit too funny here. What are, what are your favorite moments where wrestlers were in the realm of acting and your favorite moments where actors were in the realm of wrestling? Let's see. Can't do uh, any more stock. <laughs> gonna kill me. Celebrities in wrestling, top three moments. David Arquette in WCW. I was already gonna say that before he did. When Hugh Jackman punched off Ziggler. <coughs> right? no. And when the Muppets were on Raw. That was Dolph Ziggler's fourth concussion. Yeah. Or 14th concussion. 40th. That's how you the said it. The Muppets on Raw. That was very unique, but. I vaguely moment. remember that now. Yeah. The Muppets on yeah, Raw. Yeah, the Muppets on Raw. Just a moment. It was like Halloween. Yeah, it was on, uh, what's his name? Beaker. Beaker. <laughs> they were related. He wasn't coming to the family reunion. Yeah. So, now take me to your favorite moments where the wrestlers went in the rough back. The Longest Yard. Oh! Here we go again. That's a good one. Well, I'm going to bring it up again on this show. <laughs> that's, that's, it that's a wrestling movie. Was the drizzling shits the remake? Stop. And then I'll be like, the first one had Burt Reynolds. And go ahead. Jeremy Gomez. No, go ahead and say it. Well, Burt Reynolds is in the second one. Shut Jeremy up. Gomez. Okay. Continue. Oh. I'm sorry. Go right ahead. Go ahead. So, The Longest Yard. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Secret of the Use. Super Shredder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's an iconic character. And Didn't that guy kill WCW? Shredder? And speaking of Shredder, uh, when he was in Punisher. Yeah. That was, uh, I think that's my favorite scene. That was the that was the the oven having a heart attack when it had to remember the stupid Russian fighting sail sailor. What the hell? Didn't, didn't what what, sense, what the hell was Big Sexy supposed to be in that movie? Wasn't he like a Russian yeah. sailor? Yeah. He kicked his ass. And, and the funniest thing is that he was... a jack, dude, bro. But the thing was that in that scene, he was legitimately stabbed. And Good. He should have been... The production, Everybody yeah, the production in that crew, movie should have been stabbed. The production crew apologized and he said... For making the movie. He just goes, brother, just pay me in a six-pack. Wow. That is, that's because cool. he legitimately knew the money wouldn't make enough, the movie wouldn't make enough money to pay an actual money. That's cool. That was the award. Listen, listen, listen. There's only one Punisher movie worth watching. Is There's it, only one. Is it the old one? There, it is the Jeremy oh. Gomez old one, Dolph Lundgren Punisher movie. <laughs> okay. And I, yes, I know Punisher isn't a giant blonde Dolph Daddy. What is the Dolph Lundgren? Swedish? Danish? Uh, I okay, I know so, the Punisher wasn't that bad. Like, I, I could have said anything about The Rock, you know, I love The Rock, but teach them his, he's actually got a wide range when it comes to his acting. He did? Yeah. That's some great damn stories. And, uh, you know, Cena's getting his name out there. Uh, Ricky Stanicki was actually pretty good. That was a good 
I love that movie. Vacation Friends was funny as hell. Oh, yeah. I think Cena's winning in the. Cena, Cena's becoming the actor. I love all. Don't get me wrong, the pizza's awesome. I love Dave. He tried to make me throw up in his Mercedes one time. As a matter Very of fact, fun story. When I get home, I'm gonna watch Die Hard 2, which is supposed to be Die Hard with Kevin Hart. It was good. I, I, I got it on my watch. It's just true. Lovable Kevin Hart. Who doesn't love Even I love Kevin Hart. The cynical person that I am. Nova doesn't like Kevin Hart. Nova is a big Kevin Hart hater. It's because it's something. Explain why. Explain why you hate Kevin Hart so much. Okay, Kevin Hart. Don't lie. Don't lie. Kevin Hart's taller than that. Huh? What is wow. What's going on here? So you said. Right. So you had. No, 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 you're not getting out of this. Explain to everybody why you hate Kevin Hart. He's not even going to. Skip it. No, no, go ahead, Kevin. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to. No, okay. Fine. Okay. Batista. Batista. Look, look. Geek favorite, game. you mean favorite wrestlers from actors? No, not, not, I'm just saying like moments where wrestlers were involved with acting. So it could have been a TV spot, it could have been a movie, it could have been a scene. Okay, well you said TV like spot. That. Islanders. Um, it can be, it can be open to all. Islanders, that. Body Slam. So, what movie? Body Slam. Body Slam. What year did that come out? Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Captain Lou's in it. Damn, bro. Piper's in it. Most memorable moments that always stick out stick out in my head. Nash as Super Shredder. Yeah. Uh, I love Cena as Peacemaker. Yeah, that's. I love that. Uh, I did. Uh, too many wrestlers did the Peacemaker walkout gimmick after it came out, but other than that, Peacemaker is amazing. And, um, because Eagly. Yeah. I have a chicken named Eagly. That is amazing. And uh, it was, it was a chicken. small spot. But just when I realized who it was in that scene, like it, I don't know why it just it made the movie so much better to me. And it was the uh, prison fight scene from Pain and Gain with Kurt Angle. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, he frisbee the the sewer. No, he frisbee the, the forty five pound plate. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in a while. So That's like Wahlberg on the Rock, right? Yeah. yeah. It's a Wahlberg movie, movie, huh? Super wicked. I'm not gonna do the Wahlberg voice. Yeah. Super wicked. Though. Yeah. Super wicked. <laughs> Super but shout out to Boston, a place that I can't stand because go Yankees. No, it's not true. I actually like Boston. I just don't like any other team. Food's really good. No, it's never been there. They don't like So now, bad. any advice for like... Getting along with Kevin Hart? What advice could you give for people trying to get into acting? Don't take yourself too serious. So, like, hype yourself up and everything, but don't believe in the hype. You could be confident in everything, and you could you probably could have blown it out of the water, but a lot of times when people go to auditions and you know they believe in their own hype, they don't even notice it, but they, they walk around like you can clearly tell they have an ego. Do they make duck lips? They do actually. They do make duck lips. Do yeah. I work on two film projects. Why, why do you always cut off by picking on that dude? Every time I want to pick on that duck lip, Billy Corgan. Friend, you know duck lips. Come on, the wrestler that I can't stand because he makes duck lips Anywho. in every picture. He uh, knows what I'm talking about. Stop it. I These guys want like to get two, booked, that's why. I did like two film projects. I don't know if they ever made the light of day or not. I never like call back and I, I never go back and check. Don't tell him you work for us. But I, I notice characters like that on sets like uh, of those uh, these film projects where they like walk around and they're like really up their own ass. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna throw up. Like, no, no, I, <laughs> I, I aim for ten and I probably got to like thirty and I'm ready to go to bed. All right. So what are you like? How many nuggets you guys? Eat? How many nuggets you? Eat? I haven't had any nuggets. Well, I'm the winner because I cooked 450 nuggets. Danny's the winner. 450 nuggets. She doesn't, actually, she doesn't actually know how many nuggets she cooked, but whatever. All of them. Who's counting? 500. <laughs> whatever, 500. Whatever. I lost count. Saying, I don't even remember. All these nuggets hit Have you ever this. been acting around? You were, have you ever been on set with somebody that. Acting is not. That their ego had taken. You do the real stuff. And believe the hype. Like wrestling. Alright? Oh. Now. We'll segue into some wrestling then. Would you. Who's your favorite wrestler? Yeah, sure. Other than Nova. Other than the captain. Other than that Rafael Delgado guy. Dog daddy. Do, right. you know, 
You know I have a dog daddy ringtone, right? So where can we that find you? If we're, you call my phone, we're, we're gonna wrap this up. Where can we find you? If you call my phone, it literally where, says learn how to fucking work. Where, can, oh, that's where can we find you right now? In dog daddy voice, by the way. Dog daddy, if you're watching this, please come back. For those of you that don't know, I think we maybe made dog it like daddy is the alter ego of the Captain Aaron Nova. So beware of that super sudden squeeze, daddy. And when you see the dog, don't bark. Cause I will bite you. Some people would say his greatest persona, but here's the thing. Nova really wants to get over in the wrestling world is Eric I Nova. The business before we Nova the doesn't possibly want to get over in the wrestling world I as somebody other about. than Eric Nova because as we were just talking about egos and stuff, acting I'm egos. Only me. <laughs> I don't know dog. Nova Daddy or any Nova of wants that puss about. right there. That puss to where, make to be the money we, maker. Where can we find you, Jason? Why do you Delgado, what's, what's your, what's your handles? What do you hate Dog Daddy so much? Wait, what's your handles, brother? He's such a nice guy. Before I get to that, what, yeah, what is it with you and Dog Daddy? What is it with you and Dog Daddy? I don't know who Dog Daddy is. It's so what over. About. What about Jose the Midnight Rider? Does he even have to do, does he even have to bump it's, when he's Dog Daddy? Has no, he ever taken a bump no, as Dog Daddy? No, I'm not Dog right, Daddy. You show up. Dog Daddy's another person. You say a couple things. You throw some brother brothers, you do this stuff. You don't ever take a bump. You beat up like I don't Didn't he beat up like five people in the last show as Dog Daddy? Yeah, I was one of them. I don't know what he's talking about. But, I don't know but who now, Daddy is. But now, could you imagine, I've, you know how many times I've said this to him, right? Could you imagine if Undertaker looked at Vince and said, that girl's too young. No, anyways, could you imagine, <laughs> I'm sorry Vince, I finally turned on you after all these years. Could you imagine if Undertaker looked at Vince and said, Undertaker, huh? It's not gonna work for me, brother. Wrestling wouldn't be the same. So where can we find you at? You though, understand, bro? could you imagine if Big Sexy looked at whoever the hell was it? Looked at, looked at Dusty. Dusty? The Dusty Bucket. Dusty. Yeah, man, that was Dusty. I guess I block that out of my head every time. Could you imagine if, 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 if Big Sexy looked at the American Dream and said, Oz, don't work for me, brother. Wrestling as we know it today would not be as. A, do you think AEW would even be around if Oz didn't exist? So you got any acting gigs coming up? Delgado, what do you, what do you got going on there? Where, where can we find you next? He's acting right now like these are great questions we're asking him. So the chicken nuggets are plentiful. A buddy of mine actually hit me up the other day about helping him write a script about a, uh, a wrestling movie. And I asked him. Wait, what was Because he's, he's very- What like, buddy we know? No. Okay, different wrestling movie for you. But uh, he's really interested in writing a uh, wrestling movie. And I told him, all right, well, how do you want this to be? Do you want it to be pure action? Do you want it to be action drama, comedy, action comedy? Like, there's a variety you can go to this. And uh, he asked, well, what about anything like thrilling or horror based? I was like, fuck no. Wait. Yes, yes and no. Wait, hold on. No. You didn't think wrestlers versus zombies? Oh no, that was a classic. Was a tour de force of acting. No, no, that was a classic. Up there with... It was a classic. De Niro. And Darren Nova. That's my dad. Did you, did you know that Nova was also in Spy Kids 3D? I, you know, I, if that was, I would was, honestly no, believe was that. The first Spy Kids. He was, no, you were one of the thumb bots. That was the first one. Wait, what's going on? Is this real though? Yeah. Because I, I can actually believe that. Wow. Think about it. We know people that were Joey Ryan's, Joey Ryan's inflatable penis at All In. Was it All In? Yeah. We know. We know one of um. I forgot his name. His is he British? His, yes, the British guy. He's Menagerie. Remember what, Adam Rose? We know somebody that was one of Adam Rose's Rose Buds. We know somebody that was like. Um, was it like, uh, was he? He was in the Rocky Hard Mountain. No, we know somebody that was one of Bray Wyatt's, like, <laughs> not Bray Wyatt's family, but remember they had that one time where they had like some background people walking with them a long, long time ago. We know somebody that was that too. Like, I was pretty sure. That's what was his followers. Yes. When they had the followers and they didn't do it anymore after that. Yeah. So, no, they, this so is a joke. So, what's this wrestling movie about? Man, I. Sorry, I ruined this joke. Sorry. It's about wrestling. Yeah. 
Okay. No. And not zombies. <laughs> so it's about, um, obviously, the, it's going to be about wrestling. We're going to get together sometime next week and we're going to, you know, start writing it out. And uh, I told them that I want to use all local talent. But, but they have to I, be talented. That, and I want, to go, I want to help them go through the, uh, basically, like, the audition. No problem. So you're the one that has to pick up the rest of the talent. Yeah. This is how many nuggets are left, fellas. Oh, God. Amazing. <laughs> and what makes you qualified to pick wrestling talent, like, say, a promoter? Well, it's not wrestling talent in general. It's basically just who I think can fit certain roles properly. All right, let me interject. Us wrestling promoters, we can spot wrestling talent. I'm just forget that was a joke. So you're looking for more acting over wrestling or wrestling over acting? Wrestling over acting right now. Wrestling over acting? Yeah. No, but you're out. You're out, buddy. Yeah, I'm not good at anything. You're, you're, out. Do... you're out. Because, oh, you're number one, me. because you won't do dog daddy and everybody knows you just I do dog daddy. Do you would be booked in this dog movie. Daddy, you, know you would not only be booked me. in this movie, you would be the lead. You actually would. The dog daddy movie. Oh, yeah. Else. So where right. do we... Where, that's Aside actually what I pitched to him, too. Stuff. What, are you, what are you doing? What do you got going on there? What, what, what are you doing? Where, where, where can we find you? I was thinking of passing him a lovely buddy comedy about wrestling in, say, the late 70s. Um, the starring Dog Daddy. I don't know what to Starring Dog Daddy. I don't know. Where can we find you, Delgado? Would Dog Daddy like chicken nuggets? What would Dog Daddy say know. about chicken nuggets? I don't know the guy. Come on, man, do it. Do the dog daddy. I don't do, do the, the dog goddamn dog daddy. Dog daddy's another person. Do the dog daddy. So where can we find you? Where will you be? Where will you be next? Next. And go ahead and skip all the other companies and just go ahead and pretend my shit is the next one. <laughs> okay, you can talk about the other companies too. I'll be at POW tomorrow. POW! I can't even joke about POW because this is I can't. Like, like, Starling. Next week. Oh, Starling actually got me in trouble, so I can't even make jokes about POW because people think I'm serious well, all the time. On the 27th, I have Amp Wrestling. Amp! I was just. I don't, I don't wanna. I don't wanna take too much credit. But I was just in the greatest promo that Amp Wrestling has ever put out. My acting was perfect. I had to mark every time. You're rubbing my foot. Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> no, I was in the back of a uh, sticks and jewels. I saw that. Doing nothing. We just see the outtakes. That's a two hours. Right. So you're at AMP after that. Uh, where else are you working? Uh, I've got. I'm not allowed to say my company's better anymore because people get all heated. I've got Local Pro coming up soon that I'll be attending. Oh, sort of the, like the, I hate to say, like the Western style of local font that they work up in. Um, yeah. They've been, They've been doing good. Yeah. Uh, I'm just currently trying to get my name out there a lot more. Uh, and while that I'm doing that, I'm also, you know, going to auditions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who booked you with us? Oh, was that me? Yes. I'm not the book. You're a liar. I didn't book you. Oh, you can't make book her. No. No. No, he didn't even he didn't ask me anything. And basically, like... I can say who the book is, but I don't need his DMs blowing up any more than they are. Oh, August Artois? Ah. You should definitely call August oh. Artois to book you at, hold up, i do it this way too, at GCW. August Artois is the GCW book. I'm not going to break down those letters because acronyms are hard on me, but August Artois is the GCW book. So if you want to get booked at GCW, August Artois, he's the man. So that concludes this show. No, we're, we're not done yet. Very, very many nuggets. We're not I'm done ready yet. to pass out. Where do you out. think we're at, by the way, for nuggets? I, I, yes. I uh, checked out like yeah, I don't want him to, to, to kill me. I'm going to start as the Generation Championship Wrestling book. If you want to get booked for that other company up north where Brett doesn't pay you, uses you to launder money, but you do a lot of cool spots, and we might even get to wrestle an inflatable doll named you know the inflatable doll's name? I don't know what you're talking about. You know the, the Japanese inflatable doll so gimmick, right? 450 don't, nuggets. Don't, don't call August Tartois if you want to get booked to Game Changer. Different company. They're way up the ladder. We're down here. We're little. They're big. I maybe ate like 30 of them. I'm he very sleepy. Eat, he says he's eating 30 nuggets. Even. Jason, make you eat Jason is just warming up right now. This is we, I've seen you bite three. As usual. Me and Jason are holding down the show, and Nova, 
Not cutting the honey mustard. You like that over there? Honey mustard. I haven't had the honey mustard once because it's like over there. Cutting the honey mustard. You guys haven't been rotating that sausage for me. And because of that, when you all leave, me and Chef Candy will be playing with chicken nuggets. Chicken nugget fight. Well, you know, we'll be doing some weird things. Uh, <laughs> like, Hold on, man. Weird things, man. No, God, we're you ever been to man? You, you ever been to you 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 Thailand, brother? Answer the question. Where can we find you, please? Yeah, Where so are you? It's so I'm right here. Where can we find you? I'm right here. What's your handles? <laughs> yes, the love handles. I mean, your Twitter right. handles. Yeah, that's, your Instagram look, handles. Me right. and you don't need to be talking to other people about having love handles, bro. We we got so much love, we're going to explode. <laughs> you can find me on Facebook at Rafael Delgado, on Instagram at Rafael Delgado91, and on Twitter, not You're X. He actually did a poll the other day, Elon on Twitter. If you, yeah. he wanted, he had, you might have seen it. He was asking people if you should go back to Twitter or stay on X. And actually, what it came up is a lot of people um, started posting it. Somebody mentioned that it should be Twitter X. Everybody loved it. Everybody started like, going on Twitter X. Go right ahead. On the you know, Twitter X. Find me on Twitter X. Twitter X. At PLA underscore in all caps Thanos91. What? Pla Thanos. So you're a, a Spanish banana? He's making bananas, yes. Is this some sort of double entendre for something disgusting? No. You segue from my chicken nugget freaky line to, to the platano? Yeah. I love it. That's the piece. He's a, what are you doing? What are you looking at? He's looking at fat albino meat. No, every, they can only see you staring down at your crotch. I was sleeping. And it's glowing because the phone lights up. So. Yeah, I was sleeping. Aaron Nova. Good job. That was. It has a light up crotch apparently. That was that he's uh, been at sure here. What do we feed our minds? If you didn't notice, we have a screen wow. in the background. Welcome to feed our. I mean, that was feed our minds. I'm Aaron Nova. This is Jeremy Gomez. Hi. This is our lovely guest. Uh, Mr. Delgado, actor slash wrestling slash musician and, slash and we've only been through train conductor slash chicken nugget aficionado. We've like and yeah, we're, like the great the great nugget caper as is where like we've been eating nuggets the entire time. We've been well, me and me and, you and Delgado, like, we Delgado have, have been eating nuggets the entire time. We haven't scratched five hundred. We barely scratched. I think we probably scratched a hundred all together. I, I think we might. We really? Yeah. There's not two hundred fifty nuggets there. You know what we're gonna do the rest of these? Not, not what we said before, we're gonna do it. You know what we're gonna do the rest of these? Who we know that lives around right here It's a wrestler, we're just gonna parade their house with some nuggets. <laughs> Who lives close enough that we can attack their house with chicken children nuggets? children won't eat those nuggets I don't know, but I ate so many nuggets, I might become one. You are one. Oh. Right. How old are you? I am 32. Bleep that. And how old are you, Nose? Bleep this out. 28? I'm uh. Seriously, how old are you? I forgot. 28? Uh, bleep. He does this, it's so hard. He knows how old are you? How old are you? 45. Ha! Ah! Really, how old are you? He's 12. He's 45. He's 30, 12. No, 45. I was born in 1979. Oh, cool. 31. You're 31? No, you're not really? Yeah. Let's go for 31. Oh, thank you. Really? Thank you. You saw the chicken nuggets. It's because you can't grow, <laughs> because you can't grow facial hair over here. Oh, no. Do you grow facial hair over here? I you just said puberty. Joe like Deertay? You got the Joe Deere tape? Just got, just got. Here. Do you really? Other than right here, do you grow hair? You, you no. look like you don't grow hair at all. I don't grow hair at all. Or are you just one of those people that actually wakes up and shaves? Oh, I'm no. I just got this right here. For real? You don't have to shave every day? No. Oh, that's yeah. You want to switch bodies? What are you wearing right now? I think I might be bigger than you right now, so. How yeah. many chicken nuggets? <laughs> how much am I going to weigh tomorrow? More. Yeah, a lot more. I'm definitely passing you because you. Slacked out of like no chicken nuggets and we That's our here. feed our minds and we fed our minds. Sort of. Chicken nuggets though. It's a, what we do here is a highly intellectual podcast. Uh, inside the actor's guild. Uh, I can't think of anybody even close to that. It's very cool. Very disappointing. Very just intricate, insightful. I don't know what it is. Intelligence, integrity. Um, intensity. Uh, okay, Kurt Angle. Who? 
three eyes over here. I'm not aware of who Kermit Ho is. I can't look at Chicken Nuggets for like only. the next month. <laughs> Don't look at a mirror then. Oh god, I'm gonna become a nugget. Wow. Well, I'm Did you just call him a nugget? So basically, Chef Candy is over here picking on his height. Oh, wait a minute. You called him a nugget. Yeah. Have I got the leaf strips on you tonight? I don't know. Did I pull anything? Could not tell you. Did I pull any jokes on the nose tonight? No, I think it's a lot of nose. nose. So many nuggets. So, it's downhill after I call you my hetero life mate every show. Yeah. Does that make you? Oh, does that make you that Silent Bob? Weird. And I, no, that does. That would be Silent Bob, and I'm Jay, and that because I talk the most, and you don't. Yeah, I'm talking. You have no idea what that's from, do you? No. Never liked me. No. Jay calls Silent Bob. You know what? You hadn't seen Mallrats. Nice. It was one of those. Dogma. No, we, it was evil. We were disgusted. That wasn't it, though. It was something like that. It was like it. it was impossible. Like it was almost impossible. That you haven't seen this movie. Like Mall I don't Rats understand. Have... It was the greatest movie ever made, Dragon Ball Z. Oh god. Noah's like, I, that's it. That's I can't right. take right. I can't that's work with this guy anymore. Okay, okay. Guys, we're finally gonna wrap this up, ladies and Take it home, Jeremy! Well, let me first start by saying that in no way do we endorse anybody watching Dragon Ball Z, the live action movie. It was horrible. It was sad. It in every way destroys the cartoon for everybody that has ever watched it. And we hope that whoever has the copies of it, set it on fire and let it go. This is a movie. Not yourself, please. It's not that hateful stuff. Other than the fact that it sucks. Um, it was as good as Alex Miller's wrestling. I'm the, listen, on this show, I'm the one that shits on every other wrestler. Okay? Me. That's my gimmick. This show is never gonna end. <laughs> 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 Other wrestlers. And if one of those there. people you're shitting on happens to be Alex Misery, a dear friend of mine. Shout outs to Chicken Nuggets. <sighs> Wait, he works with uh, Alex. Alex, nuggets, Alex listen. When you pull yourself out of um, uh, I freeze the I don't guy's ass. Five hundred. Delgado wants a match with you. He says if you can go on a real show, it's time. Nova. You are the worst. Okay, no more shit talking. That was all a good love. We love you. We love Idol. We love Alex. We love Hogan. 500 we love nuggets. We, we, we love Dog Daddy because he is the greatest wrestler of our time. He's like, if Hermione from Harry Potter was a wrestler, that'd be Dog Daddy. Uh, the greatest mind of wrestling that I've ever So, with that, Nova's been wanting me to take this awesome episode home for like 22 minutes. Hi! <laughs> Since we started! <laughs> <laughs> the nugget caper was weird. We're gonna do back to real food next time. So this has been feed our our minds. That was a well drawn out pause. <laughs> this one was awesome. We had fun. We always have fun with Mr. Delgado. We always have fun with Mr. Nova, my hetero life mate, my brother from another mother, my nugget lover. Um, anything else? Candy, you got anything else to add, wifey? Mm -hmm. Our minds. This is my pal Dagato. This is the Captain Aeronova, aka the Delegate. <laughs> and this show is now over. Bye bye. Don't stop! Watch out now! Watch out, man.